Hello everyone and welcome back to the Corso Life. I know it's been a little bit since I made a video. Sorry about that. Um, life's just been kind of busy and hectic, you know, life. <laughs> Sadly, this video is not um, a very happy video. Um, wrinkles has seemed to developed some problem with his eye. I'm not sure what happened. He was fine Tuesday morning, so yesterday morning. And Monday, there was nothing wrong. Uh, late afternoon on Tuesday while I was at work, um, his eye started watering really bad and he wouldn't open it and it was just really red and I thought that maybe he had just scratched it because he plays with other dogs while I'm at work and goes outside in the yard and rolls around. I was like, maybe he poked it or one of the other dogs scratched it when they were playing. Because I couldn't see anything at this time that was scaring me too much because his eye was just watering and it was red. Well, this morning we get up and it is very discolored now on the like the bottom corner over here is is foggy and gray looking like almost like cataracts but like boom overnight cataracts in the one eye and it's red in this corner so this corner is really really red this corner is like a gray foggy color and it's starting to go over his pupil and he doesn't want to hold it open he like it flickers and he doesn't really want to have it be open or looked at much when i try to look at it he squeezes it tight really shut he <laughs> he squeezes it shut really tight <laughs> so i can't open it so i'm not sure what's going on with that we're taking him to the vet tomorrow he has an appointment Hopefully we'll find something out and hopefully it's something just simple. Maybe he just needs some eye drops. Maybe something got in there. I don't know. The part that's concerning me the most is the discoloration. I don't understand that if it, it like if it's just a scratch or he just got something in his eye, why it would be causing his eye to be foggy and like gray. It's literally like gray. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. I have some pictures. I'll put it in this video so you guys can see. You'll see the one eye is super bright, normal, and then the other one is really dingy and foggy and just not as colorful. So I'm not sure. I'm a little worried. I don't want him to have to, like, to go blind in that eye. I know he already doesn't have the best vision, um, because I don't think he was bred properly. So, um, he does have eye issues he has, I can't remember the name of it, but where the eyelashes curl in, he does have that. It's not a horrible case. Um, the vet told me that it's not like extreme, like some dogs, but it, it, he does have that a little bit. So maybe that's what's bothering his eye. I'm not sure. It's just strange how fast it happened. He was completely fine. And then all of a sudden something, something happened. I'm not sure. He's still acting himself, he's still playful, he wants to play, he wants to eat still. He's still his normal, happy, goofy self, but he just um, is having some eye trouble and it's really worrying me. So I was gonna wait and see if it was gonna get better, but this morning it just, it, it's freaking me out. So I'm just taking him to the vet tomorrow and I'll make a video and update you guys on what we find out uh, tomorrow, but for now, um, enjoy the rest of this video. Thank you for all the subs subscribers and for people sticking with me even though I haven't made a video in a while <laughs> and I'm sorry about that. Um, sometimes I just, life gets busy and also sometimes I run out of ideas of what to film about or talk about and I'm trying to just, um, try to figure out what I want my YouTube channel to be to be like it's obviously going to be about animals and dogs and my dogs and but I'm just trying to figure out like what I want my subjects to be like what do I want to talk about do I want to do tips and tricks do I want to do like five like things you should know uh, like not just about uh Connie Corsos but just like about dogs in general so I don't know I'm still thinking about it and if you guys have ideas 
uh, definitely leave comments and let me know because the girl is at a loss for what to do. But anyways, thanks guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Become a part of our family and enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. Big guy. That's the eye right there. You see how watery that eye is. Big guy. Wrinkles. He really doesn't even open it. Wrinkles, open your eye. No, you don't want to see that red. Uh, the red in the corner right there is really bothering me. And then the discoloration on the other side over here, it's like gray. So I'm just really concerned. And you know, it would suck if he loses sight in that eye. so watery but hopefully hopefully it's just something simple that's what I'm praying for and then little miss little miss Sander she's doing just great huh she's doing good yeah yep yeah. she's a good girl she's picked up this habit <laughs> All of a sudden, she wants to like watch the TV like really close and intense. <laughs> I have some clips of it. I'll put that in here as well. Um, she's still her little goofy self. Poor Bubba's. I feel so bad for him. I know, Bubbies. I know. Yeah, you're my boy. So we'll find out, guys. Oh, he goes. What is he? See that eye? What is it, Bubba? Look at that, guys. Oh, he just does not want to open it. Oh, it's bothered me so much. All right, I'm gonna put the pictures in so you guys can see uh, what it looks like with the pictures that I got. Oh, see, there she is watching the TV. This is what she's been doing lately. Like. She's chasing the stuff <laughs> that's on the TV. Such a goo. <laughs> oh my goodness. Crazy girl. Anyways guys, have a good day. Thanks for watching. I know this is not a good first video uh, to come come back on YouTube with, but you know, this is what it is. Life happens, things happen, and something has happened to my boy's eye. So hopefully we figure out what it is and just get it taken care of. I don't want him in pain. That's the main thing, me and my husband, you know, we don't want him feeling any pain. So we want to get this fixed. But I will come back with you tomorrow and give you an update on what we find out and until then enjoy your day and we'll talk to you soon bye